Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom. All right, this one's going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. I just uh, find it interesting that, you know, here in Genesis 27 11, when you look up the word hairy, you know, it refers to Esau also as a as a he goat. So this is Genesis 27 and 11. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man and I am a smooth man. So right there it shows you the two indicating factors that Jacob is saying to his mother, Rebekah, that Esau is a hairy man. All right. So that gives it away to identify who Esau is, okay, and his nation, who carries those characteristics. And also it says, is Jacob a smooth man, meaning a man that's not hairy, okay? And you can look at that as far as identification, okay, to know who's Jacob. And of course, other scriptures dealing with Genesis 49, going into the 12 tribes, the 12 sons, where Jacob said, uh, you know, come here, let me tell you what shall befall you in the last days. But now when you deal with Esau, it gives us other characteristics as a uh, cunning hunter, a man of the field. And as his blessing was given to him, was basically to live by the sword. Now, Jacob also is also said that he what a man, uh, a plain man dwelling in tents. So these are things that you should look at when you read the story about Jacob and Esau. These are factors and things you have to consider. All right, so anyway, let's go into the word. And you go into the word hairy. All right, and that word there is satir. And the Hebrew is shayara, shayara, shayara. All right, and um, it says hairy. It says he goat, buck. All right, so what is what is uh, the opposite of the lamb is the goat. So that's an he goat. So, you know, when you look at this word hairy, it's just more, you know, this is nothing deep. It's just, I thought it was interesting how Esau is also, you know, being a hairy man referred to as what a he goat. And we know when you read the scriptures, the Lord uh, classifies his sheep and the goat. You know, he says the goats to his left. He says the sheep to his right. The sheep is of the fold. The sheep is of the elect. Okay, the goats are cast out, you know, so just just more, you know, nothing deep, just more more knowing that Esau is the wicked. All right. So it says a sacrificial animal, uh, sat year, it says may refer to a demon possessed goat like the swine of Gadara. All right. Which is in Matthews 8 and 30 and 32. And I'm going to get that. Uh, it says kid, so you know also the elites, instead of saying the word goat and goats, you know, you sacrifice goats at rituals, right? As it says, a sacrificial animal, they sacrifice children, but they use the, the code word kid. You know, that's why taught by the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, you learn when brothers speak and, and um, you know, it's better to use better accurate words when you speak so it's a good thing to get up off of using the word kid when you're referring to your children you know it's just a good thing to stop doing so anyway it says kid go devil you see <laughs> devil which devil means uh liar okay deceiver all right diablos it says uh sat year hairy rough okay and that's esau all the way Okay, who that identifies today? The so-called white man. Okay, it says Shaggy, a he goat, by analogy, goat, devil, hairy kid, rough, such a right. We read that. All right, and you can go a little deeper here, but you know, let's get a uh, this quick precept here with Yahweh Shai in Matthew's eight and thirty. Okay, because why, Harry goes into also can refer to someone as a he goat 
And that's what Esau was also referred to, all right? The he-goat, you know? So anyway, let's just read what Yahweh Shai did in this account. It says, Matthew 8 and 30, And there was a good way off from them a herd of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him. Matter of fact, uh, okay, I'll start at 20, 25. It says, And his disciples came to him and awoken him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fe fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. It says, But the men of the, the men marveled, saying, What man of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And when he had come to the other side into the country of the Garazinus, Garogenus, it says they met him to possess with devils, coming out of the tombs exceeding force, so that no man might pass bear, uh, pass by that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of Yahweh? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? All right, so these are demons, the legions that was upon this man, you know, that was known in the country of Garagenus, if I'm saying that right, you know, that was known in his country, known in his land, uh, in his city, that, um, you know, no one would dare to cross the path to have to go through this man of legions, right? So these are the demons that spoke to Yahweh Shai because they was in fear. So they said, Behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of Yahweh? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? You see? So there's a time coming where, all right, you demons going to be tormented. All right? It says, verse 30, And there was a good way off from them a herd of many swine feeding. So the devils, all right, the lion spirits, okay, it says, besought him, saying, if thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. All right, because going back into that word, which um, the word hairy, Genesis 27, 11, you know, it refers to as a he goat, demon possessed. All right, it says, and he said unto them, go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine. And behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down the steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. And they that kept them fl uh, fled and went their ways into the city and told everything. And what was befallen and what was befallen to possess of the devils. And behold, the whole city came to meet Yahweh Shai. When they saw him, they besought him that he would depart out of their coast. All right. So let me go back to uh, Genesis 27 and 11. Going back into the word, find the word Harry. Oh. Okay. Which the Hebrew word is Shai, Shai, Shayara, Shayara, Shara. You want to say that uh, it says he goat buck now the point I'm trying to make it says may refer to a demon possessed goat like the swine of Gadara you know so you know nothing deep just thought it was interesting how Esau is compared to a goat all right and we know the analogies in the scriptures where the Lord referred to a goat okay and a sheep meaning that the goat sits on his left which is cast out and the sheep are brought in you know, so just another thought on Esau being the wicked, you know, and uh, hopefully you were edified. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.